Hello, hi everyone. So we're in tune with Larry Bugachi, the head coach of Cheetahs, and they just won the Kenya Rugby Super Series 2024. How are you feeling about it? And um, get to introduce yourself and tell the people. Unaski uh, Aji. I think uh, I, if I can just throw in uh, my what my folks say at home. Unaski <laughs> Abulai. Translation, it's, please. It's, it's, it's an amazing feeling. Uh, mm-hmm. Uh, I think uh, coming out, uh, the boys putting that um, big performance and uh, uh, getting the coveted title. I think uh, I'm happy. I'm happy as a coach. Uh, we achieved what we had agreed. Uh, we had, we had, we had, we had um, many things for putting our objectives right and what we wanted to do with the series. Yeah, and then we got there. So ticking all the boxes and lifting the trophy. Uh, I can't, uh, I can't explain how I feel. It's, it's super amazing. You played with cheetahs. You won with Novos, and now you win with cheetahs. How does what memory does this bring to you? Uh, I, it's it's a it's a mixture of uh, of emotions. Uh, have, uh, playing in cheetahs, winning with Novo, coming to win as cheetahs, but as a coach now, I think it's just a, a, a testimony of what if you put work into something, can really uh, give you the desired results. Uh, we really put work in this, and uh, it came out to. Uh, as it is now, as being champions. So it's, it's an amazing feeling. Okay. Yeah. I know you had a blend of top-notch boys and good talent on board. How how did you feel about seeing them, people that you've coached for a very long time, stepping in and putting in some good work and sh- good show in the match? Yeah, yeah again, it, it was great. Uh, all these boys, uh, some I've worked with from tender age, some just meeting and uh, meeting them at the series and getting to know them as person, uh, at personal level. I think we agreed uh, when we started the series, the first meeting we had to discuss so many things. Uh, we decided before you become a good uh, rugby player, that can you be good, become good people. So I think uh, there were there was uh, the personality, was about goodness and uh, joy and happiness. That's what uh, motivated us. And seeing the boys play and accepting the, uh, the challenge, it's a very big thing for me. Yeah. Um, I think they always say a good sportsman can learn and unlearn. So particularly for you as a coach, what did you learn during the process and what did you unlearn? Uh, I think what, what, I, what, what I really picked, I think just you can never go wrong with planning. Uh, I think it has to be key. That you, you have to be purposeful. You have to be uh, intentional about your planning, what you have to achieve uh, and the other timelines. That you so I think what, what really worked for, for me as a person, I think the planning was all right. Again, the uh, execution of it was by excellence, uh, going by the results. So I think for me that really worked. The thing that, I've, uh, that I really uh, had to unlearn is uh, of expectation. So we, 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 from the onset, we just kept on celebrating the small wins. We look at the bigger pictures, forgetting the small, uh, the, the, the small victories. But so that's, what I, I, that's what I picked this season uh, as a coach. Always enjoy the small wins first. Forget about the big thing. Just that small step. It's, it's, that's a way forward. Then. Okay. Yeah. Maybe as we get to the conclusion point, I understand that it, it was never a smooth ride. There were like hiccups along the way. But how did you get to overcome them and get your win? Yeah, there were, there were a couple of hiccups. I think picking injuries here and there. Uh, there was financial uh, uh, financial uh, 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 inefficiencies you know, from the other side. Uh, and uh, we picked it up by, I think, just just putting their heads together, uh, consulting a lot, consulting a lot with my bosses, uh, Chairman Nakuru, uh, Chairman Menengai, Chairman uh, Impala. I think there was just a, 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 a concerned effort from everyone uh, who put together uh, resources, we put heads together, and we worked as a team to, to ensure that uh, the boys were happy and a bit comfortable, and the team uh, had to perform. Yeah. Maybe as we get into the collapse, what do you expect, and um, maybe how many boys do you expect to get to the national team? I think they, they, all, they all deserve the uh, 28 who did, who did uh, service for uh, cheetahs deserve to be in that setup. Of course, again, it's a discussion of the Simba management and all, but they will play. They will, they will, they will play like Simbas, and they deserve a place in the, in the national team. Uh, having said that, uh, of course, they cannot all be picked, but we believe a bigger percentage should come from um, this side. Lastly, your message to a young boy who is aspiring to be you one time or one day, what's your message to them? Uh, to all those young boys out there, just uh, uh, just believe in your abilities. Uh, put God first. Uh, have a plan, have a goal, have timelines, and be patient. If you put work 
will come.